As a trailblazer in the music and film industry, Queen Latifah has not only broken barriers but also set the stage for future generations of artists. Her impressive career spans multiple genres, including hip-hop, jazz, and acting, earning her numerous accolades and awards. But beyond her professional achievements, fans are often curious about her personal life, particularly her romantic relationships. This video uncovers the mystery surrounding this question. Who has Queen Latifah dated? Over the years, Queen Latifah has managed to keep her personal life mostly private, leading to speculation and curiosity. While she has been linked to various partners, the details of her relationships remain largely under wraps. Queen Latifah's dating history includes many long-term relationships and one brief fling. Queen Latifah boyfriends are few and far between, though she is rumored to have dated Mary J. Blige's ex, Kendu Isaacs. Allegedly, Queen Latifah's first relationship is said to have been with Sean Moon, her former bodyguard who she dated in the early 90s. She later started a long-term relationship in 1997 with Monifa Carter, an American R&B singer best known for her association with the late rapper Heavy D and her music from the mid-1990s. The two eventually decided to end their relationship in October 2002. Queen Latifah and Kendu Isaacs were rumored to have dated briefly in 2003. They were seen together at numerous events but never confirmed or denied their rumored relationship. It is unclear when and where they met, but their relationship didn't last long and ended before the year was out. In 2007, rumors started about Jeanette Jenkins being Queen Latifah's girlfriend when the two were spotted hanging out together at events around Los Angeles. Jeanette Jenkins is a high-profile fitness trainer and the founder of the Hollywood Trainer Fitness Company. She has built a successful career and reputation by working with a number of A-list celebrities and athletes, including Pink, Serena Williams, and Kelly Rowland, among others. Throughout their relationship, the two denied being together. However, rumors were confirmed when the paparazzi got photos of Latifah and Jeanette frolicking on a yacht. The two decided to call it quits after eight years together in 2021. During their relationship, Latifah and Jeanette had lots of problems. Allegedly, their arguments tore them apart. Queen Latifah and Nichols first crossed paths back in 2009 on the set of Dancing with the Stars, according to Entertainment Tonight. The pair reportedly started dating in 2013, but only officially confirmed their romance in 2021 during Latifah's speech at the BET Awards. The couple prefers to keep their relationship very private. I don't have a problem discussing the topic of somebody being gay, but I do have a problem discussing my personal life," Queen Latifah told The New York Times in 2008. While Queen Latifah has not publicly talked about her partner, she thanked her during her 2021 acceptance speech for BET's Lifetime Achievement Award. She said, Ebony, my love, Rebel, my love, peace, happy pride. Rebel is the couple's child, whom they welcomed in 2019. The pro dancer was seen with a baby bump in October 2018, and shortly after, the couple became proud moms of the baby boy. A source said at the time, Latifah has never been so full of life. Ebony and the baby have given Latifah something very special to live for. In October 2022, Queen Latifah was seen shopping with her son in public for the first time. The family was seen all together attending a Harlem Globetrotters game in NYC in February 2023.